Hello everyone, we're back to uh, work on a button. Button, yeah. So, uh, as you can see here, we've got this default button and we just want to make it pretty. That's all we're doing today. So, a uh, couple things. We got this UI sprite. Uh, we want to kind of find our button background. Um, I have done this a couple times before, so I might look at the other one, but, uh, you know, we have all kinds of buttons here, uh, that we can choose from and, but I want it to be consistent with everybody else. So what I'm going to do is find a different button on the screen and use that. So actually let's go to the front. Let's go to the main menu scene, scenes, main menu, and there are some buttons. So let's go ahead and grab them. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope. We would like play button here. Button medium for zero. Uh, this is a really cool gothic UI asset that I bought a while back uh, for the original Skulls Impossible Quest game. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and use that. So let's head back over to our scene. Uh, and in fact, we don't need to be on this scene necessarily, but let's go check it out. Uh, so we're going to go grab the upgrade window. We're going to set the sprite. Button. medium or alrighty a couple things uh, the button is sliced uh, so what that means is over here you can go to the sprite editor and uh, you can see these little drawers here you can slice it and then when you have it it basically turns it into nine different slices so the middle can be represented in in uh, in different sizes. You can change the size of the button, which is really cool. Makes things really fast. So I'm going to discard my changes there though. I'm going to go back to the button here and we're just going to crank up the value there. Uh, maybe we want to make the button larger. Uh, we got this cool little tool anchors to corners, which allows me to kind of redo the anchor positions without having to drag them around manually. Uh, which is a really cool thing and, um, bring this down a bit, maybe there, uh, also our text, we want it to be the regular font and there, and maybe auto sized. Uh, however, we probably want the text to be smaller than the button. So we're going to do a little bit of that. Oops. There we go. And now everything should kind of properly move along with our button size. So now if we change our button size, the text should change along with it. And we can make it send us back to the main menu as quickly as we want. Last thing is main menu. All right, so we've finished the level. We fought off the enemies. Uh, Might've just hosed this a little bit. We'll see. Yep, so we got a 10 second long level just to make it go quick. And bam, level complete. Ooh, we gotta add the cursor back in. And then 
click on the main menu, back to the main menu, works wonderfully. All right, until next time, everybody. See you all later. Hopefully this is an informal, informative video. Let me know if you have any questions, like, subscribe, all that. And we'll see you next time.